All right, everybody, I'm doing something I haven't done in a long time. I'm going live on both a Facebook group and my YouTube channel. And I thought, what a what a great concept to, to, to expose you guys to, because I just saw this myself and I'm like, this is a game changer. So how many of you guys actively create videos for your different channels? really specifically YouTube, right? And you are, you know, maybe struggling with the thumbnail. You go to Canva and you see all of the generic thumbnails they give you. And if you'll notice, a lot of real estate agents are using those generic thumbnails. So they're all starting to look alike, right? Well, with your thumbnail, that is a good key indicator of why someone would want to click your video. It, it, it is, guys. You got to have good content. You've got to post a lot, but you also need to have... Um, you know, a thumbnail that catches somebody's attention. And um, chat GPT just changed the game. So again, this is not going to be a very long teaching. I probably will have agents. I've got one that's just joined me live. Hello, agent. <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you how to use chat GPT to create YouTube thumbnails like a beast. I didn't even know you could do this. I just got exposed to it. So I'm going to share my screen in a second and show you. Now, for this, you're going to need to have chat GPT 4.0. I think I pay 25 bucks a month for it. Uh, absolutely necessary for my business. Um, but when you log into ChatGPT, and let me now share my screen, uh, you're going to have the ability to add this image generator, right? And it's I believe it's down in your templates or your settings. But once you have it, you can add this image generator. And now it's sitting right up there for me. And so I played around with a couple of things, guys. So right here I said... I said to Chad, I said, hey, create an image of a small town near a beach. So if you live uh, as an agent near one of the, uh, you know, one of the beaches or whatever, you could get real creative. I mean, that is not a very large prompt for me to give Chad to create. But look what it created. Imagine that as a thumbnail. And if you went and created the content, if you actually said, create an image of a small town near a beach where there's lots of stores and shops for people to walk through uh, and put pictures of people in bathing suits with uh, swimming trunks and with a uh, surfing board or whatever, this thing will create it, right? So then I said, let me, let me go a little bit further. Create an image of why the real estate market is a dangerous place to be in in 2024. Guys, look what chat GPT just created. Literally created this. And I'm going to actually use this in a minute to show you. Now, I went over to chat earlier before this video and I said, hey, listen, um, give me an image of the housing market in Florida. The image will represent the pros and cons of moving to Claremont, right? And so it gave me this one to start with, right? And then it gave me this one. I kind of picked out one because it's got the for sale sign. So I went into Canva and I basically copied this image. I went to Canva and I dropped it. So let me remove this image. I dropped the image right there. And I simply said, set as background. And then I went in and found the font that I wanted and write, wrote in pros and cons. Now that is an amazing thumbnail, totally different than what you're used to. Or I could go back here and say, you know what? Let me keep this original one. So I'm going to copy the image, go back here. I'll dump this image, paste it. I'll ask it to set background. And guys, look at that, pros and cons. And if my video title is the pros and cons of moving to Claremont, Florida, that thumbnail is going to absolutely stand out. I know this for a fact. Matter of fact, I'm going to say this, so I won't get rid of this. I'm probably going to say this for a future video that I'm creating. But look how easy that was, guys. Chat GPT. Now create an image of the housing market in Florida. This image will represent. And look at what it gave me, right? Think of the applications, guys, by simply coming in here and typing. Now look at this one. This is a prompt that says create an image of why the real estate market is, is in a dangerous spot. So you could copy that. Let's go back here. Let me go ahead and delete this. Put this here, ask it to set as a background, and then basically change this, right? Change this and say, um, say um, housing market in danger, right? And I can go ahead and bring this over and come down a little bit. Guys, you're just seeing this in real time. This is all done in real time. Right, change the color of this. Boom. Look at this, guys. There you go. Housing market in danger. Come down a little bit smaller. Right. And then there is a thumbnail for my YouTube channel. And this was all created inside of Chat GPT. So 
Again, a very quick tutorial. If you have the chat GPT paid version, look at what you can do. Your imagination is the only limit. So you can ask this prompt to create whatever you want. A couple things. I did ask it to create a, a uh, thumbnail for people th thinking of moving to Central Florida to be near Disney World. And it wouldn't do it. It said it goes against copyright. So there are you can't really ask it to design a Nike shoe and use that. In your right. There are copyright issues. So you it's going to give you. So in other words, if you want to do something like that, instead of Disney World, say theme parks. Right. So if you're brand new, if you're just now coming on, I'm about done with a video, but you want to come back and check this video. If you just logged on live, because I just showed you how to use chat GPT 4.0 to create thumbnails just like this. This was all done in chat GPT. And Chad GPT gave me that. He gave me that. Chad gave me that and that. So guys, absolutely amazing. Make sure if you're using 4.0 and you do videos like we do to start checking out the AI in chat that will now create your thumbnails inside. of It's amazing. Hopefully this will stay as part of the paid 4.0 version. And they don't get rid of it. And I think at this point, it's only going to get better, right? So drop some comments below. Tell me what you guys think about this new feature in ChatGPT 4.0, the paid version, about your thumbnails. Drop comments below and tell me what you guys think about this new feature. Guys, I just found out about it today. It's a game changer. All right, that's it. Till I see you on the next video. Make sure you hit subscribe and the bell.